Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi Gary. Gary. Welcome, Welcome to my channel. channel. KC Sensei is its name. Until this first video of uh, 2022, uh, January 3rd. And I, uh, last week I ordered some comic books. The first comic books I bought in God knows how long. Uh, I actually don't remember. But anyhow, I come from a I like to subscribe to or uh, buy my stuff from Lone Star Comics down in Texas. And so this is a uh, box. Really well built. That's the uh who has readable, I don't even know if it's readable or not. Uh, I don't know if it is. Maybe it's right about there. Anyway, uh, they're online as mycomicshop.com. I have a link down there to their site. <coughs> and uh, I haven't really bought any comics at all, I think, last year. Maybe a couple or a few. Not too many, it's just that I didn't really have the money I want to burn or, or something like that. But I mean, having the itch to get some. And uh, so I finally uh, was able to. And so I decided to go ahead and do it now before I get into the rest of this year and have other things become more uh, significant to me to buy rather than this paper. So this is a great box, uh, pretty well designed. And uh, oh, uh, oh, really like this. And uh, hot comes like that. See the paper off. See the little foam packaging on the ends. And uh, let's see here. I'm going to grab the whole thing. Let's see one bag, a giant bag. Oh, here's an advertisement. I'm going to show that. Oh, cover shop news. All right. Well, I haven't seen one of these in a, a long time. I used to go up with Town Doctor here called San Luis and Vesco to a place there, and uh, that's where I found these up there. And uh, I have to read through that. I don't like reading that kind of stuff. But here's a box that has these uh, little foam things that protect them. Pretty easy. Use it for other purposes too. But here. That many. So I'm going, all, all I will do this time is show you the covers. That's all. No comments, nothing. I haven't. I don't know these that well. But I have two main interests. Uh, years ago, when I was going to school at Humboldt State College, I used to sit on Sunday and you know, going down there was uh, I was living in you know, something called the Arcade Motel, which is no longer there because they tore it down to the freeway through the area. You know, one-on-one on one, uh, uh, coast uh, uh, was a uh, two-lane road. There was a two-lane road. Uh, uh, Four-lane road through that part of uh, it was a town called Ar Arcata. And that's about 10 miles north of Eureka. And so uh, it was going in because at the school, it was on the hill on the uh, east side of the highway, and the town was on the west side of the highway. Really neat town, had a little square with a post in the middle and all that, and the shops were all around the square. That's really neat. I really like that. And uh, I came okay, to the was just to the northeast of the intersection, a light intersection. And it was like on, on the curve. There was a curve coming around uh, to the intersection. And these giant new lumber trucks carrying uh, a giant logs would come, come from the north, going down towards that stoplight, and it had a down shaft. And the whole room I was in, a motel room, would vibrate. <laughs> well, it took me about a month to get used to sleeping in that situation. 
but it was really, really unique. And, uh, but, uh, uh, that's, uh, where I used to go down, uh, north, just north from where I live, there was a liquor store. Uh, a deli type, you know, uh, they had all, like a 7 Eleven kind of store. But when it was, uh, just an individual person. And I'm going by the San Francisco Chronicle there. It was Sunday. Plus a few other things. And I uh, sat down on my bed and, and read the funnies. And the one funny I like most was Fred Stallion. So that's one of my main characters I'm interested in. And the only other one I really care about has been uh, the Martian Manhunter. So when I made this purchase, I I, I, I purchased a bunch of Fred Stallion comics. And a few of the Martian Manhunters, her first, very first Martian Manhunters, I guess on, on DC, I, I guess, I, I will find out. So let me open this baby up, and I will show you the covers. Let me figure out how to do this. And, uh, oh, I think I got scissors. Uh, yeah, scissors or something. Don't want to mess this bag up. Uh, so, oh, that's a lot there. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me. Have I read too many of these? It's like, I have so much stuff going on all the time. And read is just a. I like, I like to read, to read but, but it's hard. hard. But all I read is just a bad news of mine on all the crud going on in the world. And that's why this must be my, my receipt. Let's see. I have uh, just a list of everything I got. Fantastic. Great bag. I'll save that. Okay, now what's the first one here? Oh, yes. Do you see? Very first. I'll put this in order. Oh, well, these aren't in order, okay. Well, uh, I'll start with this one. This is uh, French Bayon. Uh, mm. These aren't in or any order, I guess. But French Bayon, uh, here's that cover. Okay, I'm just going to rush through these because I don't want this to be too long. Uh, okay, there's another one. Okay. And another one. Okay. And, uh, this is, I like this kind of ring, this kind of character. I'm not into all the superhero stuff. Uh, and so. That's a neat looking cover. Okay. Uh, sure, you have a lot of things on the front. I understand on the back, but as you can see in your public, this is, I think I've seen that on the, the newspaper. Uh, uh, I don't know what issues they are. I don't know why. Anyhow, this is an annual. This is an annual. Okay. And this is a complete run for this one year, I guess, our 44 series. Okay. Yeah. Whoops, wrong one. I'll say that. You say that again. <laughs> yeah, okay. There's that one. So, if I interest you in something like this, it's a great, great story. Easy to read. It's just, uh, and nothing to involve. I think I've seen that cover before. Uh, and, uh, the official. Which way? Uh, it says the official. Okay. And this is the series. Okay, this is a, a Marvel series. That other one was. Uh, right. Well, this is a uh, Marvel, okay? That's different. This is a. Uh, 
Pioneer. Okay, those are pioneers. This is pioneer. Okay. Right here. All those I've been showing some point. Well, this one. This pioneer. This is more. This is a normal. Just over the. Uh, uh, the character marble. And another marble one. These are outline ball covers, and you know there's a difference. At first, they like uh, simpler looking covers. Uh, uh, a marble one. Okay, it's, there's so much going on, you get lost looking at it. Now, here's a playing air one. Uh, See difference. This is more filling to me than that. Okay. But, uh, here's a, another one. The official one. Okay. Another one. Okay. That's the kind of art I like right there. Okay. And here's, oh wow, this is really neat. That's really neat cover. I can get another one and hang that thing on the wall. That is really nice. Okay. <coughs> Here's another one. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Okay. Is that dear old dad? <laughs> right. Is it a marble cover? And, okay, now the other character is Martian Manhunter. Excuse me. I don't know why I cut it to John John, or however you say his name. Well, uh, I, I tend to like the character. It tends to be what we call a transform. And you can change shapes and all that. So, uh, it really an interesting character that stuck out in some of the stories I read that he was in. So, I went ahead and got the uh, very first issues of his own comic book uh, by uh, DC. Here, here are the covers. Okay. There he is. Okay. The second one. Well, this guy can mark with the different shapes, at least. I'm afraid you could. I don't know, I don't know about the newest one, but uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen, our uh, thing of him. Okay, third one, and you're just a uh, four issue series. Okay. 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 So that. That. No. Down below, I'll link to their website if you're interested. I see I spent uh, 13 minutes talking. And, Happy New Year. Hope you all have a safe one. Be sure to maintain COVID uh, protocols. Protect yourself, especially if you're overweight. You know, uh, if you're between the ages of 20 and 39, uh, you're at a high risk, risk of infection and severe illness. So I want you to know that. I don't know why the government has really... I don't recall hearing anything online about government saying anything about, about that aspect of the disease. So, uh, so in case you, you, you fall into that line and you're, you're obese or overweight, uh, go ahead and die. <laughs> or definitely protect yourself. Two masks. Uh, why wear is like uh, <coughs> not really N95, but something like one of those, and then over it one of those little things that wrap around the ears, you know. And at least two masks. <coughs> and so that way, and you know, maintain your distance and uh, uh, be safe. So until. Uh, I have a whole bunch of things I want to talk about uh, this year, uh, but I don't want to go into that subject matter after 
showing you this now. now enjoy, enjoy all have time to buy some of these things and uh, read. That's very important to read. It helps your mind uh, keep your mind cells working, right? You know what you say? Don't use it. You lose it. And uh, I learned that a lot. And you know, until later, we'll see you all then.